Hey everyone, Positron checking out Streets of Rage 4. This just came out from .mu, Lizard Cube, and Guard Crush. Uh, it is a continuation of the Streets of Rage series about I think, 25 years later. Uh, Streets of Rage was a series of beat em ups back in the 8 bit and 16 bit era. Maybe just 16 bit. Um, I played a lot of Streets of Rage 2 as a kid. In fact, uh, you know, a friend of mine had a Genesis. I was a Nintendo kid. We used to play co-op on that all the time. Um, yeah, so this just came out. It's 25 bucks on, I believe, every platform. Steam, Switch, PS4, Xbox One. It's also on uh, GOG and Humble. And before we get started, I just want to point out that there's a lot of good options here for stuff. Um, you know, you can do your input stuff. You can even go back to more of a legacy mode. Um, and it's even got <laughs> things such as uh, you know customizing your hut and your food. If you want to change what the food things look like, um, it's kind of a neat little, just a nice little touch. You can even have a big salad if you want. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna check this out, see what it's like. Uh, yeah, we'll go uh, normal. Uh, so there's also, I don't know how exactly you um, unlock the other characters, um, but I know for one thing you can have a uh, retro soundtrack. Which is an interesting thing. Yeah, so if you want some of that classic music, we'll check out the uh, the original for now. Um, I know you can also unlock uh, playing as some of the old characters as well. But to start, we've got Axel, Blaze, Cherry, and Floyd. Uh, we'll play as one of the new characters um, first. Out of curiosity, Cherry reminds me of uh, Skate, so maybe we'll play as her. Seems like kind of a probably smaller, quicker character. Ten years have passed since the fall of Mr. X and his syndicate. City has been at peace until now. The crime empire has risen. The Y twins, Mr. X's children. Former detectives Axel Stone and Blaze Fielding join force with their old friend's daughter, Cherry Hunter, along with Floyd Araya, an apprentice of the brilliant Dr. Zan. Was Dr. Zan the uh, guy from Street to Age 3? Might have been. But I mean, we don't really play Streets of Rage for the story, right? Stage one, the streets. So we got our specials. Uh, I believe there's uh, specials for in the air, uh, forward, and just standing still. You can also do grabs, of course. The animation is really smooth. Uh, I am playing this with a PS4 controller. You can actually see that um, you can choose your button prompts uh, between uh, Xbox, PS4, Switch. This is another nice inclusion. Oh, I see. So the the current setup is that uh, different or more complex button combinations, but you could potentially change that to the classic, so, you know, punch is pick up stuff. You can pick up items, of course. You can throw these, the same button we pick them up with. <laughs> or you can miss a whole bunch. Ooh, nice slide. I dig this track, too. Music might be a little loud, but, you know, that's part of the experience. So specials drain health whether they hit or not, that's important to note. She's got kind of this forward combo, uh, automatically launches at the end of it, which is kind of nice. Now, my skills are a little rusty. 
And we'll actually uh, just tune this really quick. Actually, I'm curious too. Nice. Oh, is that the back attack? Yeah, it is. And it looks like I can do a bit of a uh, head bounce there, too. And if you're not familiar, this is the uh, the opening track from Streets of Rage 2. Nah, I don't need that. We'll stick with this. I also really dig the art style. The uh, that heavy outline really gives it a nice stylized look. Uh, you know what? Let's use some of our health for a. Oh, that's a fantastic thing! It's like jump right off of that guy and into the special. There we go. I noticed that uh, enemies have a little bit of an expanded move set as well, which is nice to see. There's also certainly some other things happening that I'm not quite, you know, I see they can break your combo, uh, but there's a little green flash there, I'm not quite sure what that effect was. Oh my. <laughs> Watch where you go. Can I get that thing fully out of my way? Maybe. There we go. Dude, my car achievement unlocked. There's also a star there. Oh, that's right. There's uh, additional powers, I believe. Star move. Nice. That's like your super, super move. I don't think those take health. Trying to do that head bounce there. Yeah, she does play uh, a lot like Skate, kind of that, just that quicker character. Ooh, who is this guy? Look out. Now we're gonna. I am gonna switch back. I wanna give the, the new soundtrack some time to shine, even though I love that track. Yeah, plus I figure we probably have a uh, more of a boss track going on here. Ooh, he can catch those. Interesting. Almost there. Ah, I tried to catch him right at the end there. Got him. Alright, off to the next area. Hey there. Pretty bold to fight with your uh, hands in your pockets. Dylan. Ooh, watch out for that electric wire. I'm curious what this plays as a, uh... Oh, it's still... So, it must be one track per stage for the retro, and then a little more dynamic for the modern. Makes sense. I 
I need to stop standing on those. So yeah, I have to say, in general, my initial impression of this... Very positive. You know what? Yeah. Look out. So they are also affected by it. Extra life in 2,000 points. Good to know. Uh, yeah. Ooh, a little bit of a, uh, locked foreground there with this fighting through the window. Dangerous, very dangerous. Oh, so here's a real boss. Ooh, another star power. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna use this right away. I wanna save that chicken. Let's try to use some of our special move power here. Alright, before I lose a little... Oh, there we go. We actually can grab her. She can't interrupt my comp. Ooh. Damn, okay, so she kind of just powered up there. And now she's gonna call friends. Oh boy. This might make things a little interesting. I might be able to throw them into her, though. And one of them just brought a weapon, so that could be useful. Oof. I'm in trouble, though. I can use my special, I think, when I'm low health. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was hoping to do. Nice. Combo pro achievement unlocked? I don't know about pro. Oh, we got the extra life, too. Wow, that guy just tossed me. Watch out for when she armors herself up there. Nice. That's fine, we got one life left. I believe, yeah. Extra life at 7,000. Like, you better get this. Nice. And that actually interrupts her armor there. get a bit of a score at time. Rank D. Yeah. Sounds about right. So it looks like there are some uh, maybe upgrades or unlocks there. Oh, we can actually change characters right from here. Uh, let's try out, uh, let's try out Axel. Tell us what's going on with this city. Organization is too powerful to control everything and everyone. The one man who could help you, the Grand Master of Chinatown, he used to be a friend of theirs. Looks like it's too late though. Hmm, they already found you. Oh boy. Police precinct. Oh boy. So Axel is a bit older. Wider. But he's still got his old moves.
Ooh, that one's a nice new one, though. I wonder, uh, I have to try. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I remember this track, too. Very nice. I don't think he has a dash. Interesting. I'm gonna guess these guys, yeah, I was gonna say, these guys are probably coming out. And I don't- oh, the police officers are actually gonna fight them. But they also think I am trouble as well. Sorry, sir. Axel is a little slower, a little more methodical, but harder hitting. What's his back attack, I wonder? That bit of a... Yeah, there we go. Oh man, that's such a nice ability to be able to use. Really gotta make more use of that. Can you do that while you're holding someone, I wonder? Yes, you can. thrown out of that. Yeah, they, they really like to toss you if you just try going for a cheap throw. Oh, this looks like trouble. Ooh. Oh. Try to grab that chicken. We do have his power move. I did miss, but... That would have been really nice. Oh, he's got a taser! Pretty easy to actually change direction for your uh, special in the air as well, I'm noticing. Which is nice. Playing a little risky here. I think I'm gonna get caught. Yep. Ah! Boy, oh, broke out of it! So we can actually break out of grabs. Some money in the old arcade machine. Security checkpoint, huh? Let's see if I can get 50 hits going here. I did. Murphy. Alex Murphy? Oh, I can pick up his baton, too. There we go. Hey, guys. We're just gonna... Don't mind me. I'm just gonna pass on by. No, all right. I'm gonna burn through some of my life bar here. Probably get a game over pretty fast. Um, since we're getting to be about that time to wrap up. I've, I've kind of lost track of time just playing. I mean, it's a lot of fun. This definitely feels like Streets of Rage. Definitely uh, got the style down, the expanded move set, and uh, some new enemies and enemy types and things like that. Very good. Audio is fantastic. Visuals are fantastic. Um, I know there's also you can play online, there's versus modes. Interesting that these, uh, 
Murphy's become regular enemies too. Give you a little introduction to them and then uh, send them on through. Alright. So let's see what happens with the game over. Oh, so we can actually get an assist at the cost of score. Hmm. Now we'll, we'll check it out. Um, yeah, there's also a boss rush. Um, we need to complete the story mode, arcade mode, uh, stage select. I'm guessing that's also where uh, some of the other stuff comes in as well. The gallery and... Yeah, this is an art gallery, some of the concept art. This is the, the uh, kind of the character on reveals here and everything. Uh, yeah, so Street Stage 4, you can pick it up on basically any platform. 25 bucks. It's, uh, it's got like 10% off on a couple of platforms right here to start. Uh, thanks again to the publisher and developer for giving me a code to check this out. And if you like the video, click like, helps a bunch. If you want to purchase it for yourself, I'll have a link to use the Steam one below. Subscribe for more stuff like this. See you soon.